I, I love the premise of this show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. And this episode of the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. Mm. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start this show. The heavy as hell. Yo, yo. Fresh off his honeymoon. Yo, yo. How was your honeymoon, man? Mad abortions going on still out there. Yo, I bro. thought about you, bro. I said, yo. I had to do a tour. Yo. <laughs> she had to do a tour. Said, how, long, how long was you going? <laughs> two weeks, So bro. she's two weeks pregnant right nah, now. No, 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 no. I didn't leave it in. You didn't leave it in? Nah, but Why? I was fucking like Because you knew champ, the decision though. was coming? Say what? You knew they was about to get rid of Roe v. Wade? I didn't know it was abortion. I thought that Dwayne was, uh, Dwayne Wade was uh, playing against his... <laughs> Crazy, 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 crazy. Shot a little off, but it went yeah. in. <laughs> it went in. He fresh off, That's fresh off, crazy, fresh off vacation. I'm gonna come and shoot from half court, baby. Let's, let's I'm gonna shoot from let's half court. Let's start it over, bro. Let's start Why? Over. That's a come good on. Let's abort that one and then and let's just start from the beginning. Of the hey, man. Abort. You better abort things while you can. You can still abort things in New York. Oh, yeah, dude. So you didn't leave it in for real, bro? No, 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 no. Pulling out on purpose? No, 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 no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pulling out on purpose. Yeah, yeah. A little bit longer. I want I want the summer. Okay, okay. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. You want that flat belly at least. It's better to have the stomach out in the fall. I get what you're saying. Oh, I didn't even think about it like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been through four of them. You know what I mean? Summer pregnancies are the worst for women. Really? I, I, yeah. Oh, because they're already like hot. They're yeah, sweating. They're doing all that yeah, kind of shit. Yeah, hormones going crazy. Yeah, yeah. But how was the honeymoon, though? Oh, it was fucking unbelievable. I had the, it was the best vacation I've ever been all my entire life. And it was, it was absolutely amazing. It was, was the, the first place I went to where I'm like, this is not like a box I want to check off. This is a place that I want to come back to and explore deeper. Wow. It was like, you, you need go? to go. We went Italy. Went to Italy. It was all throughout Italy, but like the place that was like absolutely mind boggling was the South, uh, a place called the Amalfi Coast and uh, an island called Capri. Mm. And they were, Capri was a little bougie for me. It was like a lot. It was, uh, you can tell how bougie an island, uh, like a place is by like how the age discrepancy between like man and woman. Oh, so like older men with young uh, ass girls? Right. Diddy's with young Miamis? Yeah. And just like the rich motherfuckers, like Tommy Hilfiger is just walking down the street randomly. His fucking super yacht is out there. Then Steve Wynn, you know, like the Wynn Casino guy. Yeah. He's pulling up in an even bigger yacht. Tommy Hilfiger's yacht moves out the way. Like it was just, but that, that, the copy thing was great. Amalfi was unbelievable. Like truly unbelievable. Every time I leave the country, I say to myself, man, we really are in our own bubble in America. And it's better because if people can... knew that's out there, then they would fucking kill us. <laughs> <right? laughs> you know it's better. Like, I don't even want people to know that that is a way of life, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, like there are people live in St. Louis bro. all year. All year. The whole Never year. Never seen nothing but that the, arch, that's bro. It. Have not fucking Can't wait to the West. Listen, Believe. Man. I was in Cairns all last week. Oh, so you know about the South. Yeah, I had to go to Cairns uh, for the, what do they call it? The Cairns Lions. Cairns Lions is like this big um, advertising festival. Yeah. Basically, all the big companies go down there and they just court advertisers. Yes. That's what they do. It's a yeah. bunch of parties for advertisers. It's panels that we speak on. Me and, me and Dolly Bishop, president of the Black Effect, spoke on like six different panels. But man, to your point, yo, they had a row of yachts, right? Yeah. Every company. Had a row of yachts, like and so. Each company had their own yacht. Like iHeart had their own yacht. You know, Paramount had their mm. own yacht. Gary Vaynerchuk, Vayner Media Let's had his Gary own D. motherfucking yacht. I said, Yo, Vayner really doing it? But it's like, I'm sitting there, like, where the fuck is the recession? Yeah, <laughs> the economy's yeah. just doing bad here. Yeah, these companies got money, but they go over here to spend it clearly. Oh yeah, big time. And it's it's an expense. 
It's a fucking expense. That's the beauty of it. They're spending money to make more money because they want these advertisers to advertise with their They don't even got to be in Cannes to do that. You can do that on Zoom. It's just an excuse for everybody (laughs) to go to a fucking beautiful beach, eat amazing food, enjoy the south of France. I went to Monaco. I I went to Monaco for dinner one night. I heard Monaco's a little disappointed. Um... I mean, I went because they said, you know, oh, you tell me silly shit from a movie I'll go see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even yeah. gamble. Like, okay, let's go check it out. Yeah. And they was like, when you get this, it's going to look like a car show. And they were absolutely right. Yeah. Every fucking foreign, exotic car you could yeah. think of just out like a Honda. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, it, I, the only reason it looked a little, I'm not going to say it was disappointing. It just looked like it's still being built, if that makes sense. And it's, yeah, it's, and it's been there a while. Really? Yeah. What do you mean, a while? Like it, it's it, it's done being built. Do you know what I mean? So like a New Jersey highway? <laughs> yeah, like it's a like, New York highway. They yeah. never actually stopped working on it. I don't know. I'm I'm not that familiar with Monaco, but I know it's like a, basically a tiny little tax haven for Europeans. Yeah. So like the super rich Europeans go establish a residency there, and then they don't got to pay taxes. Bro, it's a different level of wealth out there. Bro. Yeah, it's a different level of wealth in Europe. But there's but there's different. Okay, so here's the thing. It's like, and you find this in the United States as well. There's two different types of people who have tons of money. There's the people who have tons of money and it's really important to them that you know they have tons of money. Yeah. So they spend that money on these like like material goods and we're all guilty of this. We all want a fucking nice watch or a nice car, a nice whatever, and that's fine, yeah. right? We all have our insecurity. We want people to fucking think we're awesome, whatever. But there are also all super wealthy people that that spend that money on like experiences and being in these like majestic places. Yes. Because that place provides so much joy. I'm sure when you go to fucking Anguilla, it's not cheap, you know, but at the same time, that place gives you so much joy. So it's worth the money spent. Absolutely. And there and I I know that we have this in America, too, but we're like very young culture. So we're learning this a little bit more. But there's parts of like uh, America that have this amazing nature. And then people go and they spend their money on that. When you have a place in Montana, you're not doing that to like super flex when you go like, here, look at this fucking, it is a flex to have that land, but it's also so pacifying to like, look at this beautiful view and just be in touch with nature or whatever. And down there in the south of France, I have to explore a little bit more, but fucking dude, on that Amalfi coast in Italy, man, it was so, it was so fucking beautiful. And it, 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 there were these people, there were obviously some are there for like the boozy, bougie shit, but there's also people who feel like they're there for this truly serene experience. I mean, you can't imagine what you're seeing. It's just like land just, drops off the side of a cliff and these like houses are built into the fucking cliff. Like Man. none of it makes sense at all. It's wild because you take a like, boat everywhere. People got to spend. Do you, do you have to spend, have that kind of money to experience what God just created? Well, that's the beauty is that some of these places they'll have like ferries in. So you could take this ferry and then experience this beautiful city and then see what God created. Bro, when you see that shit, it's hard not to believe in God, bro. <laughs> like it's fucking like back to St. Louis. Like you look at St. Louis, you're like, is there a guy? Like you, know, like, but you look at certain places and you're like, I get atheism. Like I get it. But you look at these beautiful things and you're like, nah, God was was, was filling real. himself no, today. Paintbrush went for plain it. Florida. Say again. It's plain Florida. There's beauty Florida in Florida. Florida. Beautiful. It's stunning. But then look at. The people, some Say, of the people that come to Florida. <laughs> we got I'm some beautiful saying, people in Florida. The, the, some, but then it's that also is the crazy. craziest place in America. Yeah, so it's like damn, is that God just showing us balance? Well, not all places are beautiful in Florida. That you know, there's Florida's a wild place. There's alligators. Like there's a lot of things that these people are dealing with that I don't yeah, think yeah, that like yeah, the yeah. average person realizes. Like when when you have like these obstacles in your life that just become normalized, it's yeah. not that crazy. Like oh, there was a shootout. To us, we're like that's a big deal. They're like. There's dinosaurs in their backyard. That's what happened to that guy. You know what I'm saying? You know like, the guy was walking in Florida and he got bit because he uh he said he saw yeah he thought it was a dog. So he saw the fucking he saw the gator walking. He said he thought it was just a dog. And with, then he with, hit it with the with pan? a leash. No, I, that's another one. The guy hit it with the no, pan. I think he tried to pet it or some shit. These <laughs> motherfuckers. Bro. But think about that. Think about how off you got to be in Florida. Or to your point, shit like that is so normalized. That you see a dog, you think what you think is a dog with a long leash, and you're like, oh, fuck. You don't see the owner. You <laughs> just keep walking. Yeah. It's dark. You don't run, no nothing. You end up getting bit by a gator. I'm just saying, they're, they're different. Like, people, they're different fucking people. Like, we know that in certain areas, like, you don't wear a certain color because that could get you fucked up if That's you're right. wearing that color, right? So That's you right. avoid that color. Like, alligators, I don't think, they don't see color. 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? Like they, they just, it's just food. It's like food. everybody is the food. ops. You're, you're not, not even, you're not even a human, bro. You're that's just it. To a gator. That's it. So like they live with that every day, every day they're chilling in their backyard and there could be an alligator at any point in time around them. So yo, you know what's wild? What if gators aren't, what if gators do recognize you as human, right? But they understand boundaries and they understand protocol. Like, I'm, I can't, we can't just go around biting humans, mm. right? But if one of them motherfuckers get close to you. You know them shit is a, that's a on. delicacy. It's on. Take the, take the bite, Gator. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I think happens in some of these situations. Like, they sit around in their little communities and they understand, like, thou shalt not kill. Mm. But if this motherfucker's stupid enough to it's come on. near us, I'm taking a bite of this it's shit, on. man. Yes. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that we don't taste good. <laughs> really? I mean that. Why do you think so? Because animals would eat us more. Nah, bro. I think they understand boundaries, bro. I do really think? do. I, yes, I don't know. man. I, I think for whatever reason we got lucky, we just don't taste that good. Because we were just out in the middle of the fucking, what is it called? The Serengeti or whatever. Like, what are those places? The Serengeti? Isn't the Serengeti? It's in Africa, right? Is the Serengeti in Africa? Like when human beings first started, we're just in Africa with all the animals and they're not trying to eat us for some reason. We, we can't run in... as fast as the gazelles and shit. I don't know if we was just in the woods, though. We were, or bro. Or the jungle. By the way, we don't know if they was eating us or not. Well, we're, we weren't in cities, bro. We, we, we had to be. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. You're about to find out if uh, animals taste, if humans taste good or not. Why? Because of the abortions? They have to do something oh, with them babies. They could be feeding them the gate. I'm serious. Yo, y'all don't understand oh the drastic God. measures <laughs> people are about to go through. What? Y'all don't understand the drastic measures people are about to go through. See, y'all laughing right now, but go back to a classic record. Tupac, Brenda's got a baby. What Brenda. did Brenda do with that baby? Because she couldn't have an abortion. She Feed threw it, it in the goddamn again. trash can. Oh, <laughs> throw it in the trash can. What do you think, yeah. people? What do you think? Yo, listen. What no, y'all? No, 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 grizzly listen. bears go eat in trash cans. Go. Listen. Go. go listen. You're, you're we're, angry. We're, 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 <laughs> it sounds absurd. Yeah. But go back to the times when people couldn't have yep. abortions legally yep. and the wild things they used to do to get rid of their babies. Yep. If you think in Florida, they're not going to be throwing babies to the gators. <laughs> That's not what y'all... That, that could be. No, that could be. Huh? That could be. Because they have to get... They That's get the clinic, the, bro. Yes. That's the new clinic. And especially if they're going to be getting, if they're gonna be locking That's women up. Clinic. If they're going to be locking <laughs> women up, right, for yeah. miscarriages and whatever else... <laughs> They got to discard the evidence. They're gonna have to discard. Yeah, you gotta take the baby. This to the is crocodile I'm not even clinic, joking bro. with. This. No, I'm, I'm. I'm saying you should. You might be right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I found a way around abortion, though. Okay, let's go, baby. <laughs> Brilliant, Brilliant bro, idiot. Take, let's go. Bro, let's take. go. Okay, ready? Make abortion illegal. Abortion mm -hmm. is illegal, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so ladies, you just accept that. You go, abortion's fucking illegal. That's what it is. You're not going to fight that at all. It's done. You just get rid of the baby because you call it a break and entering. You get rid of the baby because you, okay, explain. Break and entering. Like. I didn't want that in there. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying stand to pick, your ground. I'm trying to pick up what you're putting down. Stand your ground, ladies. Okay. You get to stand your ground. Somebody broke and entered into you. There but, is I mean, a you, human but, but, being inside your space, inside your property that you don't want. Stand your ground. Oh, Did it work? Did it not oh, work? Oh. <laughs> Say what? No, not kill the men. God damn it. You kill the baby. Here, here's the thing. Stand your ground. I know y'all are listening to this. Stand right. your ground. I know y'all listening. Out, listen. Know, stand listen, your ground. I know y'all listening to this right now and y'all like, yo, this shit sounds crazy. This is what it's about to come to. I'm dead. Like, this is no joke. Like, they, go, go Google stuff like women committing abortions with hangers and all types of shit yep. like that. Like, people are going to be going through drastic measures not to have these children. Because, especially now, mm -hmm. with inflation sky high, uh, a recession on the horizon, these people can't afford to have kids. Some people just simply can't afford to have kids. Mm. And now, what if I can't afford to go to a state that, you know, I can go legally abort my child? Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'm telling you. This shit may sound cruel and it may sound, you know, so what happens? primitive and prehistoric, but it's going about to go down. But what, so what happens? So the babies, do the states just make it illegal? The, the states that don't want it? 26 states already uh, are planning to put their abortion bans into effect. But it was already like seven states that did it before. I, I've been talking about this for a while. You know, uh, in Alabama, like three years ago, Governor Kay Ivey signed an abortion ban bill into effect. And 
We all saw this coming. That's why it's so crazy. When I saw Vice President Kamala Harris Mm -hmm. with Dana Bash on CNN this week, and she was like, I never believed the Supreme Court justices when they said that they were going to uphold Roe v. Wade. And we knew this was going to happen, but it was still a shock that it happened. Mm. It's like, if you know something's going to happen, right, and you don't believe these judges, Mm. why not implement a defense? No, we don't need a plan. Why not implement a defense? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what could have been done, but something could have been done. Like, you just sit back and let the other team score. So what's the deal? Like, I don't know. It's a tricky one, man. Is it? Yeah, I think it's tricky because, like, if if (laughs) if you really want to have the conversation about how we feel, we do believe it's terminating something. But isn't that the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've uh, accepted that as no, soon no, as you no, go no, to no. the clinic. That's not, I think that's where a lot of the frustration comes from. Is that one side, the right, is going, hey, you're killing a baby. And the left is going, it's not a baby. It's nothing. It's a bunch of cells, whatever. Now, I think all humans, if they're being honest, agree that at some point it becomes a baby. I don't think we'd feel comfortable with it happening at nine months. Let's say you push somebody down the stairs, a pregnant woman that was nine months pregnant, right? And then she she lost the baby. Word, word. You would say, yo, you also killed that baby, right? Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. now, if she was one month pregnant and you did that, did she lose the baby or is it just a bunch of cells? That, that's why... No, I, no, I, I'm not. I'm not making statements about what it is or what is it, what isn't. I'm saying why it's so tricky. Do you I know get, what I'm saying? Like, it's a I, really tricky conversation. I understand everything you're saying. I personally don't care. And the reason I don't care is because it's not up to me. It should just be up to whatever person's decision they want to make. I'm pro-choice all day long. Because you don't have to make the choice. That's the beauty of it. And that's the awesome thing about being a dude is that most dudes that are okay with abortion are really just okay with women terminating a baby. Are right, most dudes that are okay, okay with abortion Probably got the wrong person pregnant at some oh, point. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh-huh. got a wife and you run to get your side chick yeah, pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. why when Jasmine Sullivan said that at the BET yeah, Awards, yeah. she was like, if you're a man that has benefited from an abortion, yeah. you know speak what up. I mean? Speak up. Some people were saying that's a weird choice of words. I'm like, no, I understand exactly what she's what, saying. One, and that's the thing that I think a lot of us aren't willing to just say, which is, hey, early on enough, we're okay with terminating something because it will make our life easier. That, and that is a really hard thing for people to accept, but I think it is the reality. Acknowledging that it is terminating something, but at the same time going, if it's early enough going, this is not an autonomous person. I think before three months, the baby can't even function yeah, without yeah, yeah. the mother at all. Yeah. So as long as it's within that period, I think that we can just be like, okay, I'm, I'm willing to stop this thing from continuing, but it's not its own thing. It's still part of the mother's body. Yeah. So she gets to make that decision. But then you, when you're after that period where the baby can exist on its own in like an incubator or something, that's, I understand why people yeah. go, hey, that's not right. I understand where they're no, coming from. You're, you're not wrong. You say it's complicated. It's very nuanced. Fuck, it's complicated. I've thought about, I remember when they, uh, I think it was, I think it was Alabama. At one point, Alabama was allowing abortions up to like five months or six months or some shit like that. Right. That's wild, bro. Like this, I mean, New York, I think, allow, has that. Six months is wow. Six months is like there. Like, now you really break and enter. Now there's really sure. something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's, there's actually right. Like you know what I wonder about that? Because every time you say breaking and entering, I don't know why I think about uh, like that when people bring up the rape and the incest thing. You know, what if you get pregnant by somebody? Well, that's you? that's what I mean by that. Is that okay? In those specific circumstances, you didn't want that thing in you, and you didn't give consent for it to be in you. I don't understand how Catholics don't have empathy for that. They do. No, they don't. They, I, 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 the Catholics are saying it doesn't matter if well, you get raped. It doesn't matter if there's incest. And I'm yeah. like, how do you not have, how do you have empathy for the baby, but not the person who experienced the trauma of rape and getting okay. pregnant? Their argument, and this is not all Catholics. I think there's a lot of Catholics that have room for that. But the, the extreme argument for that is you're punishing the baby for the actions of the rapist. Yeah. That the baby okay. is innocent okay. And okay. that the, the the rapist is guilty. What about the person carrying uh, the baby? But that dude, that's why this is the toughest fucking thing to even like have a thought experiment about it. Like there are people probably listening right now and like so, half of them are like really upset with some of these ideas that we're putting forth and the other half are like, no, those make sense. 
And it's like, I'm not attached to any of these ideas right now, but I have to think through every different part of this to even understand what is the quote unquote right decision. I don't know if there is the right decision. I think anytime you take away somebody's power of choice, I feel like that's criminal. But that that then they'll say you're taking away the baby's power of choice, bro. That's why this shit just goes so te- deep, bro. Like, well, but listen, am I not the child's parent? So if I'm even even if for a short time, I brought you in this world too. <laughs> so, but, but, but no, I'm not gonna bring you into this world because I know how hard it's gonna be for you to be in this world. It's gonna be hard for us. You know what I mean? Our, 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 let's not even just talk about the financial aspect of it. It could be all type of reasons. You know, like the rape, the incest thing is one incest thing is one thing. But some people just physically can't carry a child. They get sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they have the uh. What's the thing when the baby's born in the tubes? Ectopic pregnancy. I, I can't pronounce it. I'm not yeah. even going to try. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, there I, are many situations where it seems like you should have empathy. Now, I think there are also situations where people are doing it out of convenience. And it's really helped people that there is this convenience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So. <sighs> it's rough, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. it is. We can't hear you, Taylor. What'd you say? Why you wish we got pregnant? I wish that men got pregnant so y'all would really understand it because I feel like if y'all got pregnant too, this wouldn't even be a topic. Y'all would be able to choose. I'm not against this. I know, no, I'm not I'm saying choice. Andrew. What'd you say? <laughs> no, no, no. Do seriously. you think so? Do, Do you think if you guys were able to get pregnant, would this even be a topic anymore? If we were able to get pregnant, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I think it would. I don't think it would change at all. I, really? I, I think the same people that have these religious beliefs because Th- that understanding right there assumes that it's only men that are against abortion, but women are 50, 50 on abortion. So it's like, it's more of people who are like deeply, uh, religious or they, a lot of times people who have kids can't imagine doing it after a certain amount of time. Like you have a kid and then, then, you know, you start to hear the heartbeat after X amount of months and you're like, fuck, I don't know if I, I could do it. it it's just fucking tricky. And I have empathy for them as well. So I think it's easy to just go like, yeah, if dudes got pregnant, then you you know forget it. Yeah, no, I, I think, think that, yeah, yeah, I think the same I, I people would still object. Yeah. I, 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 and I agree with show because honestly, maybe religion. more women would would object. Maybe because they're not carrying the baby, they'd be like, no, if it was both of us. I'm ah, yeah, I'm shocked by how many women believe that this is the right decision that the Supreme Court made. You saw Sonny on the View. I know, that's religion. Isn't that based on religion? It's based on religion. I just, I just think anytime you take away somebody's power of, um choice is just absolutely criminal. And I, I, the whole thou shall not kill thing, so I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is rooted in. So does that apply to the death penalty? Does that apply to animals? Like, you know what I mean? Well, like, there's Okay, so there's really fascinating stuff in this. I'm pretty sure if you look in the Quran, they don't count a, a life beginning until like three months. I think everybody does. I think the first trimester is when it counts. And I, but I think biblically speaking, like there are certain circumstances where they don't even. And now I think I don't know what the Old Testament or New Testament says about it. My, my understanding was that there's still like a later date as well. And I assume that that's in there because, you know, there's so many miscarriages and there's so many things that happen in pregnancy before that, which could end it. And you don't want to, you know, feel as if you did something wrong and, and lost your baby. And I, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure. I don't know if anybody's listening right now that can confirm this, but it's like after three months, that's when they consider it. Yeah, the first trimester to be a life, and that's yeah. I don't know. It's pretty like profound for back in the day. Even they were like, "Hey, it doesn't count until then." So if it doesn't count until then, should we create this window? If even in the books, I think it's like that with abortions. I don't think you can. I think in most places you can't get an abortion after three months after the first trimester. First tri- well, you probably can, but it's risky. It's very risky. Right. So as long as what I would look at that as. As long as the baby is part of your body, you can do whatever you want with your body. After that time, the baby has its own body. And then you would be doing something to its body. It's no longer your body, your choice. It has its own independent body and, and maybe can live in an incubator or something like that. I, I, maybe that's a reasonable, maybe that's reasonable to kind of come together both sides can kind of agree on that like how does that want, make I, sense I, I, like, I, don't, I don't think i don't think i don't think what you're saying is wrong i just want to know why do people care so much like why why like why is this something that you have to put into you know the, like 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 the supreme court has to make a ruling on it 
You they're already I mean? married or they're already in relationships. And it's like, listen, I'm married. You're married. It affects us way less. Okay. Once things affect you way less, you have way less empathy for those people that are making those really difficult situations that could have like a moral impasse. Right. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Like, you know, and, and I know a lot of people, because I don't want any more kids, you know what I mean? But I couldn't ever see us having an abortion only because I see my first four. Exactly. So, you know so what I mean? It, cha- like, it ah, changes you. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Like, even some of my most, like, liberal friends, after having a kid, it changed their opinion. They, like, spoke to me privately about it. They're like, honestly, it's it's changed my opinion. But there's plenty of liberal, like, like, like I, go, I keep saying Sunny from The View because, you know, she's a liberal. And she's be- thinks the Supreme Court made the right to say, well, I don't know if, no, let me take, let me rephrase, you probably can insert the clip, but she doesn't believe in abortion on, on by any means. Well, wow. even, if it's abo- even if it's rape. And she said this on The View. Wow. But I think she does disagree of the Supreme Court taking away people's right to choose. That's, that's how it should be, right? Like, oh, oh, she wouldn't do it herself, but yeah. she also is okay with allowing other people to do it. What do you mean? Let me like, make sure you said that right. She herself doesn't believe in it. Yes. In but, the, she should, but you shouldn't, she said, I don't You shouldn't she, legislate against it. There you go. Gotcha. Nancy Pelosi feels that way too. Remember they asked Nancy Pelosi, what does she think about abortion? And she was like, it doesn't matter what I think, you know? I just basically feel like people should have the right to choose. You know what I mean? So that lets me know right there. I mean, Bi- Biden has been on that, what? Yeah, I mean, any of these old people are, are generally going to have- A hundred million and you, percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, oof, bro, it's tough. It's rough, it's yeah. tricky. You know, the scary thing for me is just like, what's next? I know everybody's focused on abortion right now. Well, what do you think is next? I mean, listen, man, we had OG Jim Clyburn on Breakfast Club a couple of years ago, and OG Jim Clyburn was saying how Joe Biden has to expand the Supreme Court because he said when you have these radical, you know, right-wing folks on the court, he was like, yo, they could bring... He was being, you know, he was using this for exaggeration. I don't even know if he was using it for exaggeration, but for emphasis, like, they could bring back slavery. If they wanted to, but he broke it down in a different way. He broke it down to where it's six three now. But if things keep going the way that they're going, you know, at some point it could be nine zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. And he I don't was, know why that would make them bring back slavery, but he was just saying like these are the type of wild things they do. But guess yeah. what? We never thought they would do this. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I mean, we never thought they would get get rid of your Miranda warning. That goddamn yeah. get Clarence, now Clarence Thomas talking about yo, we might get rid of same sex marriage. You know what I mean? He's saying no sodomy. What the? Seriously, with everything that's going on in the world right now, why are you as Clarence Thomas worried about making sodomy illegal? Wait, why would he make sodomy illegal? It's some shit in Texas. It's some law in Texas where some police, the case was some police busted in on this gay couple. The, the guy's boyfriend called, called the police and said somebody over there had a weapon. So they busted in on them having sex with each other. So they just basically made it illegal i think it was the, uh, no they didn't make it illegal to uh to have anal sex or something pull it up taylor cuz I, I know i'm explaining but this wait, 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 wait. i'm i'm confused about what anal sex mm, well no like what why does he care about anal sex that's my know. point boy just just type in clarence thomas sodomy taylor is it like a moral purity thing is he trying to like make i don't the... know i just know that where, wherever the in, whatever the law is it's okay for men and women to do it Oh. But if two men engage in it, but it sounds better when we just say sodomy. Is yeah, straight off. Just so straight he's sodomy. making gay sex essentially illegal. See, Clarence Thomas wants to, re- Clarence Thomas wants Supreme Court to revisit Texas sodomy law. Let me, let me read the other thing. Under there. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in a concurring opinion that the high court should now reconsider its rulings in a number of past decisions, including those of sodomy, gay marriage, and contraception. The contraception one is interesting. That is wild. That I mean, that, I was that thinking about that. So what does that mean? Like, does that mean condoms, birth control pills, the shot? There's certain birth control. I forget which one it is. Can I not pull out? No, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Pulling out is a form Yo, of contraception. Pulling out, they can pull it out illegal is hilarious. Hold on, hold on. Before we continue, yeah. Taylor just said contraception is not just for sex. I have to hear it. What is contraception for, Taylor? Can you go on the mic? I have to hear what else contraception is for. School me. No, I'm talking about for the birth control, like the pill. Like some girls don't take it to make sure that... Oh, they regulate the period? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Okay. You're right. 
I just had to hear it. I didn't know. I, just, I thought she was about to say you make water you balloons really, with condoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Hold what on. I mean? <laughs> Do you really think girls are taking birth control to regulate their period? The best way to regulate your period is let somebody shoot your club up. Facts. Nine months, no period. Regular. Go on the mic. Go on the mic. Get on the mic. Yes, we need women. We need a woman's opinion. Yeah, it's, this is incredibly important. It's really women issues, like why some have to take birth control. It's not just for, for regulating periods. Like I agree with you. And I know some women that take it for acne. That's that's wild, bro. Right? Am I am I, am I, am I making this up? I've heard I feel like I've heard that before. Well, it's yeah, it can help acne. with those things. It can also make you gain weight and shit. But also, going back to the period stuff, like, there's a lot of women that have very bad irregular periods. Mm. So have- I know dudes that took birth control pills to get thick. Wait, what? What? Word is born. To get thick? <laughs> P- to get thick. Thick. Because it makes you oh. thicker. <laughs> how no how do you think Saucy Santana got all that ass? No, he did not. <laughs> what? Stop. What? Stop. Saucy Santana got ass. Look at Saucy, bro. Why? 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 You, ain't saw, you, saucy be, you ain't seen Saucy when he was out there with Juvenile doing back that ass? No, up. he didn't. Uh, man. He got a BBL. Yeah. He talks about that's the That's the brand name of the commercial. <laughs> 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 Hold on. What is, what is, uh, the, read the thing about Clarence. What did Clarence say? Get to the side of me part. In a separate concurring opinion published Friday, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Uh, okay, this one. A 2000 decision in which the court ruled against the state of Texas, scroll down, Taylor, regarding a 1973 law criminalizing the act of sodomy. Same sex, though. Here's what I found. Siri won it. Siri won in on this. <laughs> a woman needs to be heard here. <laughs> we need a woman's voice on this on this issue. <laughs> yo, yo, and you shut her ass up real quick. And said, Enough out of you, Siri. <laughs> I don't want her to uh, talk about my searches the past few days. <laughs> I'm saying, Here's what I found. Okay, you've been trying to figure this anal sex thing out. Throw but that down, you show. can't, you can't get rid of abortion and anal sex, bro. That's crazy. God damn, man. What's going on, yo? I just want to know why. Like, why is that case I've heard all those, mind? like, wild theories. You've heard all those theories. I like, have not. Oh, there's, there's there are not enough white people and they're worried. And oh, they're... no, I believe that. Really? But that's because I watch Fox News. Okay. But I, but I, I, but I, I, by the way, I believe that before Fox News, <laughs> I, I actually, I said this three years ago because I was, I really be perplexed on, like, why yeah. people care about policing other people's body so much, right? And, you know, it's, we've all heard about the whole, by the year 2045, white people uh, may be the minority. We've seen over the past five years, white fertility rates have dropped. White uh, people won't even be the minority. They'll just be less than the majority of people. That's, 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 yeah, no, They no. say minority. I don't know. They, but they, they say, say minority, minority yeah. because the language is like more uh, salacious. No, nah, that's true because black people is only 13%. Exactly. They're yeah, still yeah, the yeah, majority yeah, yeah, yeah. of people. I think they're combining black and brown, though. So they're saying Hispanics and blacks. It's it's all not. White basically, people. it's saying non whites will outnumber whites. There you go. There you go. But yeah. that. If we're dividing people up into colors and whatever the fuck you are, then that's not what it is. It's just people trying to. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's true and what's not true. I've never been hanging out with white people and they brought it up. You might be hanging around the wrong white people. Am I hanging around with woke whites, bro? (laughs) What the fuck is going on? Listen, when I was some bullshit. Hey, I watch Fox News a lot. Yeah. Tucker Carlson been on white replacement theory for a minute. Really? Hell yeah. In the last. But what two- are we replacing? I love what they did with the Oscars. No, no, I love what they did with the BET Awards. They're saying they're being replaced. <laughs> yeah, replace them. There's certain things where I'm okay with whites getting replaced. Well, that's what's, that's scaring the shit out of a lot of white people. That's the, uh, the what guy. do they want? What do white people want to do? What is, what is the job? Just break it down for me. White people, what do you want? No, I think they mean being replaced in society through, through all of that. Jobs. A lot of this is about power. Like I, I was, oh man, I just, I'm, I'll send you the article, but it was this article talking about how the redistricting, the redistricting laws are about to happen now. None of these um, fucking the, politicians the, the guy, care about The guy who guys. shot up tops, the do- guy who shot up tops, he said, he said it was because white replacement theory. Yeah. He was like, white people are being outnumbered. We got to start taking, you know, black and brown people out. It's, it's a real, I'm not saying this, I don't know if it's a real thing, but I can say it's a real fear. Mm. It's like the QAnon shit. Like these fucking insecure motherfuckers just start believing anything. It's like, what? You know, wait these, a minute. What is that? People eating babies. 
Babies on pizza. Oh. What do you think about the happen? Oh, shit. So they're going to go after their source of adrenochrome. I don't know what you just said. And adrenochrome is that baby blood that they're drinking. That's all I'm saying. But now they can't do it because there's no more abortions. But what about people who don't want their babies? Bro, it's going to be a black... Here's the thing that y'all not understanding. It's going to be a black market for babies, bro. There's going to be people who cannot afford to carry these kids or don't want these kids for whatever reason. They know they can't get abortions. They could give them up for adoption, but it's going to be things like that. I promise you it's going to be a black market for these babies, bro. Mm. Whether it's the people that got the pizza parlors in D.C., I gotta stop watching Fox News. Right. Whether it's the people that got the pizza parlors in DC <laughs> yeah. or whatever the fuck it is, bro. That shit was fire. I'm not gonna lie. Comet Pizza. <laughs> Comet Pizza. It just sounds wild. I'm like, yo, why yeah. is people not turning this into a script? Yeah. Politicians <laughs> he with went a pizza in there. parlor in DC <laughs> with kids just tied up in the back. Well, there weren't any kids. There weren't. People were actually, but think but he about went it. to go check. Remember, remember what we just said about white replacement there? Yeah. And I said, I don't know if it's a real thing, but it's a real fear. Yeah. People believe that shit about Comet so much that yeah. they ran up. In one it. guy. Oh, it was only one. Yeah, with a rifle. And then he went. And he went to see if there if there were kids in there, and he went and he didn't. And the police came up to him, and it, and he basically went on the ground and like gave him the gun. And like, what are you doing? He was like pedophile ring. And they were like, oh fuck, he really believed it. Can you be mad at him? I can't believe no, no, it was just one guy. So that's I can't believe thing. it was just one guy. That's the thing that there, there's all these people, right, that they believe that like politicians are eating babies. They believe that politicians are lizards and all this shit, and they do nothing about it. It's like if that's how I know you don't really believe it. If you really believed, <laughs> I'll say yeah, this: yeah, yeah. How do we know it's not true? Here's my point: oh, How much proof? Wow. I'm just saying. How do we know, know it's not? How do we know what's not all true? of this shit? I like this. <laughs> I'm just saying it I all like could be now, on the table. Now let's have fun. Just because we've never seen it. How much it? proof do you need to believe something is true in life? How much proof do you need? Do you believe in God? Yes, but that's because I've, I've seen God and I've felt God. So that's my thing. If I've seen it, I... I where, where have you seen it? What, God? Yeah. In me, when I look in the mirror. Oh, when I look at certain people, I can look at certain people and be like, but that person's annoying that I can see God in them, you know? Um... And I know people say faith is when you have a belief in things unseen, but I don't know. God feels like more than faith. It's like, it's like air. You know what I mean? Like I've never seen air. I saw God staying at really expensive hotels in the Amalfi Coast. <laughs> and, and <probably>, but <laughs> by the way, hold, hold, hold. by the way, but probably, and, and probably yeah, looking yeah. at your wife. No, right? it was more the hotels, I, I, to be honest with you. And then that, <laughs> it was, I mean, I know what my wife looks like. It was amazing. I love her so much. But there was something about these hotels hanging off the side of the fucking cliffs. Oh, and man. I was like, God must exist, everybody. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. Is some, I don't, if that, by the way, that's what made you feel like God exists. Yes. There's nothing out here that I've seen that makes me feel like people are actually lizards. But then again, talk to me. I grew up in South Carolina. Talk to where me. Where people used to see the lizard man all the time. Low country, y'all know what I'm talking about. 843 used to see the lizard man in Somerville, South Carolina all the time. Okay? I've seen hags growing up. So all why right? aren't you I've doing seen something UFOs. about it? UFOs. Do something, bro. Right. They no, live in- That's not UFOs. Those are, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. What? Why? Why you acting like you about to say niggas, bro? No. <laughs> what's up, man? What's up? Why? What's wrong? What's the? What's up, yo? Those are ch- uh, Chinese drones. Nah, I'm yeah. not giving Asians that. Yep. They are. Yeah. Nah, I'm not giving Chinese. Yep. Nah. No, I'm telling. All right, whatever. Definitely. But there's Chinese drones, and they basically hide them them in the cargo ships as they're coming over here. They did Senate hearings though, and the Senate hearings said they they don't. It, Why it would they tell us that it's their spirit spying spying on us? They're not going to tell us that because then we look pussy for not doing it. So you telling me the time that I was laying in my bed. Yes. And I felt like the hag was riding me and I couldn't move. <laughs> oh, and yeah. as the sun was coming up, I opened my eyes. And when I saw the thing from Signs, just how I know movies are really based in a lot of reality. When I saw the alien from Signs standing over me, yeah. you telling me that was Chinese people? No, I don't think they have Chinese people in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think that was anything. I think you just made that entire. I did thing not. Up. I'm I think serious. you had you had sleep paralysis. But I saw the thing from signs standing over me. Yeah. And I saw a UFO in 1984, 85. When you were four years old, 1978. I was about six or seven. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? I'll be 44 today, tomorrow. Ooh, 
We're recording this on Tuesday. But I saw, I was in my grandmother's yard playing and I saw the UFO hovering over the trees and then it just shot off. That wasn't the Chinese drone, bro. So you, you got it. No, no, I believe in aliens. I just don't think those things are aliens. Charlotte, you don't think it was just your imagination? No. You know how like kids see like imaginary friends and shit like that? How do you know they don't? I talk, my three-year-old got a friend named, my three-year-old daughter has a friend named Abby. <laughs> oh my God. Right now. No. I'm listening to her talk and she's telling me about things Abby wants to do. Sometimes Abby wants to do some crazy wild shit and I'm like, yo, Abby gotta be real because she's only three. Yeah. She's not learning this from anybody else. She, got, she got white imaginary friends, bro. I don't know if Abby might be white. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't know what that land we live on now used to be. You know what I mean? I believe in spirits and stuff like that. So that don't spook me out when I hear, when I ever hear kids say they got an imaginary friend, I believe them. I believe y'all ain't watching Miss Marvel, bro. No. Miss Marvel is school. Y'all know about the gin, right? What? The gin. The gin are like the. What in- happened when I went to Italy? <laughs> 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 like, what, what the fuck did I come back the gin, to? Yo, pull up the gin, Taylor. The gin are like these invisible beings that, you know, they believe in. Uh, they talk about them in the Quran. You know what I mean? Okay. And Miss Marvel is a Muslim. Superhero, so you know there's Jin. I actually think she might be part Jin. Miss Marvel is. Yeah, it's a new one. Oh, you gotta watch it, bro. Oh, Captain Marvel is no, what I'm thinking no, about. No, 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 new Miss Marvel. Good? Come on, Alex. <laughs> Yo, you a fucking um, whatever that phobic is. What's the phobic? Islamophobic. <laughs> yeah, you Islamopho- Islamophobic, bro. Miss oh, Marvel, good as shit. It what is her good. superpower? You just have kids. That's why. So I was, yeah. I'm watching it by myself. God. Yeah, yeah. I sure. watched three episodes. Yo, first of all, it's shot incredible. Yes. Can you tell the me production is nuts? What her superpower is? Can she destroy she, tall buildings with a single bound? <laughs> she, she, um, actually, you won't. Um, she shoots She's learning her power. She does not shoot firecrackers out of here. It's just sparkly shit. <laughs> There's no way. And her fist can get, like, real big. Okay. And, yeah, in Arabic mythology, a jinn is a spirit unseen by humans with immense power. Yes, jinn uh-huh. can also take on human or animal form and can possess inanimate objects. But she can make her fist, like, really, really big, and she, like, walks on, like, this hard, crystallized light. And she's in Jersey, bro. Word. Jersey City. I told you that's what I'm doing for my birthday. I'm, she, the, uh, <laughs> if you drive down the turnpike <laughs> in Newark on exit 14, yeah. they have Miss Marvel sitting on top of the Welcome to New Jersey sign. And I saw it come up. My homegirl, Sherry, salute to Sherry Beer. I saw her post it this morning. I was like, yo, is that Miss Marvel sitting on top of the Welcome to New Jersey sign? I got to go see that for my birthday. Look at her, yo. Camilla Khan. Kamala Khan. Yes. You don't like it, Alex? It's, it's, it's mid. Come on. Bro, it's mid, dude. <laughs> it is not, bro. Yeah, it is. That shit is good. No, nah, bro. What makes it mid? Like, it's so, it's appealing to kids. Like, it's real cheesy. It's like rated G shit. Oh, no, it's not. C- come on, yo. It's Who not. got superpowers and they're still religious? What? Oh, shit, no. And they religious, religious. Yeah, like, but you have superpowers. Like, you know that there's something else going on. No, but they have an explanation from the Quran as, as to why they got superpowers. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, this shit is good. I don't know. Yo, this shit is good, yo. I'm telling you. And I, like, Moon Knight was cool to me. Moon Knight was better than that. I enjoyed Moon Knight. For, for some reason, this is a lot easier for me to watch and more enjoyable, but it's the way it's shot. Like, it's because it's like animation. What does this have to do with Moon Knight? I don't know. That's just it's a fucking show. podcast. Show. We have- Ain't that the black gay uh, shit? <laughs> what is that? What is it? <laughs> Moonlight. Moonlight. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all talking about, bro? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What are y'all saw, talking about? You never saw Moonlight They were Muslim, either? too. Oh, were they? I don't know. I, I never, never saw Moonlight, Moonlight I tried to watch Moonlight. The one time I tried to watch Moonlight, I was in Anguilla. And, you know, Anguilla was not having it. They, they just they jumped knocked on, on the like, door. They was Excuse like, me, that, sir. That's right. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> are you playing the Bati Boy up. movie no, again? No, for real. It was like, yo, it was, it, it was like, it is blocked on this island. Really? And then I was like, it's I tried Clarence to think Thompson. of all of them. That's right, Clarence, Clarence Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> no Sodomy. No Sodomy. No Sodomy. <laughs> 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 Why you sound like a Jamaican yeah. restaurant? Take your that dick out of that sex. oxtail. You got- <laughs> <laughs> That shit sounds wild. I don't wild. know what their accent is down there, but I was just going to the closest one, you know? 
The crazy part is the only thing of people who get mad about is the uh, accent. Why? Everything you just said. Why? What, what accent was I doing? That wasn't Anguillan? No, that was Safari. Um, that was Safari? <laughs> safari. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is happening right now? Can we go back to the super Muslims? What, what's the whole deal? Like, I don't I mean why so I'm only on episode, episode three. Episode three. But like what powers does she have? Like can she show her hair in pull public? Like, like, <laughs> like what she, <laughs> like what? she actually does though. That's Wait, what's interesting. Really? Yeah, she, always, she always has her hair out. The, the, also, That's like the crazy, dynamic bro. they show between her and her mother. I was talking to our guy Humble, salute to Humble the Poet. Um Shout uh, to Humble. You know, Humble a couple weeks ago in LA. And Humble was saying how the depiction of the mother in this show is so true. About what? I guess this the way how... But humble, humble's, Muslim, humble's not Muslim. He's sick. What's wrong with Humble? <laughs> <laughs> I was just with him. There's nothing wrong with Humble, bro. Like, what are you talking about? No, he got about? COVID, bro. The motherfucker <laughs> got COVID, bro. He got, what are you talking about, he man? He got that COVID. <laughs> this guy is crazy. How are you just going to make Humble ill, no, bro? No, <laughs> no. he's sick. He's he's uh, Punjabi. He's sick. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I'm just taking his word for it, man. No, but, oh, so he's saying that the the experience is very similar. That's what he said. He said right. it's, he said it's very uh the mother is very on point. True to true to true to the character. To so the Daisy experience in North America. Yes. Type type in Miss Marvel's superpower. Yeah, I need to know her full superpower. Type in Miss Mar- Yeah, MS Marvel's superpower. There you go, right there, the third one. Miss Marvel Powers. Yeah, Miss Marvel. You gotta go to all. Okay, there you go. Uh, she ha- Kamala has gained the ability to extend her limbs, uh, oh, wow. alter her appearance, and shift shape in several other manners. She first uses these powers unconsciously upon emerging from her terrigenous cocoon, looking like her role model Carol Danvers, the current Captain Marvel. So yeah, that's, I mean, like her, yeah, her limbs extend. She can. That's the that's this comic book version though. On the on the TV show, she can create this light. That she like walks on and uses the light as a shield. She throws it, throws it at people. It's good, man. I don't that, know why Alex don't like it other than phobias. <laughs> stop. Yo, stop. Stop. Don't throw that on me. This is what it's like, by the way. I know, it's like, well, it's this is what it's like being white. You <laughs> can't even say you don't like nothing with that. It's just being <laughs> racism, sexism. Now. Why are we acting like we don't know the rules now? Bro? So you love it. You you love it, Alex. So, I love it now. You love Shit. it. You an I ally. <laughs> Inshallah, bro. You don't like Inshallah, her. You Islamophobic. I'm all about Miss Marvel. I'm gonna. Why can't she be captain though? I think in the comic book she does become Captain Marvel at some point. See, the, the next Captain Marvel movie is a, is a collective. Oh, so it's gonna be Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. Oh, it's boy. gonna be Monica Rambeau, who's the black woman who ultimately becomes Captain Marvel, and uh-huh. it's gonna be um Kamala Khan. So it's gonna be like the WNBA of the Avengers. Yes. <laughs> No, that's, that's that's absolutely what it is. I I, I got to give Marvel credit, man, because I keep telling y'all one of the wackest scenes ever in Marvel history was in Avengers Endgame. Oh God! When uh, <laughs> all the women start running at the same time, all of them like she got help, and and the reason that was such a whack scene because it just showed how over the past decade Marvel didn't like really pour into their women characters because they got dope ass women superheroes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they 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 didn't like. Well, invest into them the way they do. Do any of them get pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, eventually, because... Uh, what, dude? Uh, why, why are you even looking at me like that? What's the woman from the Fantastic Four? Sue, uh, Sue Richards. Uh, oh, Mrs. Stretch? Well, not, you're talking about Miss Incredible. Miss oh. Su- Susie The daddy Summer, stretches Summer. and um, the Fantastic Four father stretches. Frank, uh, Reed Richards stretches. Oh. Sue Richards is the wife and then they have a, a, a son who's like one of the most powerful... The most powerful mutant. Oh, really? Eventually. Oh, yeah. Fire guy? No. What girl with the red eyes? Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah, she had kids. Oh, so she gets pregnant. No, she was like kind of like immaculate conception. Oh, they weren't real kids. They were like in the world that she created. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to know. I would love to see a pregnant. I would love to see a pregnant Marvel superhero. I'm sure you'll see that eventually. And then how would they feel about Roe versus Wade? What would they do? I mean, I would only assume that if you're a superhero, mm-hmm. there's nothing that could like abort the baby anyway. What about that fist from Mrs. Uh, Marvel? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's pay some bills. Um, <laughs> I think we should pay some bills what? right now. What? I really what? do. What? I think we should just pay some bills. Yeah. Where the fuck is wrong with my phone? 
Okay, let's come see on, this. Guys. this guy, this Andrew Schultz guy, man, he's a comedian. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, we just came back from vacation. I have a. I, I didn't come back from vacation. I was actually on a work trip, but I'm going on vacation. Uh, but I got a salute, Babel. <clears throat> you know, for all your summer travels, man, Babel. Babel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, all right? Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination, all right? Uh, what, are you, uh, what are you gonna learn? I, I, the reason I think Babbel is dope is because when you go to other places, like in France, I wanted to know more. Like you really can feel lost when you're trying to talk to somebody in your language. But what I realized is like body language is so important. I'll do, let me do the babble for it. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson. So you can start having real life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lessons plans. But Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, which I needed for the story I'm about to tell hey. you. French, which I needed because I just came back from Cannes. Italian and German, plus Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash idiots. That's babbel.com slash idiots for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Oh, man, we got another, yo, we got a good one, yo. I love Hennessy, man. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy celebrates those who never stop and never settle in their never-ending pursuit of greatness. You know, I love this Hennessy act because he ain't really, <clears throat> Hennessy runs a lot of commercials, but in my mind, Hennessy doesn't have to. Everybody knows Hennessy. Everybody knows Hennessy. Hennessy is a staple. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, salute to Maurice Ashley. He lives his passion through his love of chess. He made history in 1999 as the world's first black grandmaster. He's been on Breakfast Club before. He's an inspiring story of intellect and brilliance. His ability to push the potential of his own mind and new levels of greatness is universally inspiring. In the world of the mind, there are no limits. Hennessy, man, never stop, never settle. Visit www.hennessy.com to learn more about Maurice Ashley. That's H-E-N-N-E. SSY.com. Now let's get back to the show. This episode is also brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage your audience, and sell anything, your products, content, anything you create, and even your time, you can do it with Squarespace. I'm telling you, you do not have a business if you do not have a place online for that business, and Squarespace is going to get you started. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up in your schedule plenty of time by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to your story uh, that can really tell who you are and help grow your audience and drive sales. Stand out with in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. Improve your website and build marketing strategies, okay, based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back. Um, Young Miami at the BET Awards. Did you see it? Nope. Put the sign up. Salute the Young Miami, man. Young was, Miami, yeah. let me tell you something. Your sign making abilities are incredible. And, you know, me and Tupac care if don't nobody else care. Now, let me tell you something. She's holding that sign up for Diddy. Salute to Diddy. Diddy won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the BET Awards. Uh, you know, uh, this this past week, Diddy is on stage. Diddy is thanking people. You know, he rest in peace, Kim Porter. He gave Kim Porter a lot of love. Talked about how you miss Kim Porter. He thanked Cassie. You know, and um, you know, Young Miami, I guess, is one of his 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 his, his 
I guess they got something going on. And so she was holding this sign up for Puff. Mm. Puff did not acknowledge the sign. And I see people giving Young Miami flack for that. But it does not matter that Puff did not acknowledge her and she's still rooting for Puff. Okay? Because sometimes you root for people and they don't give you back what you want. But that doesn't mean that you don't stop rooting for them and that's not your motherfucking team. You know how I know that? Because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Ooh. Okay? All right? So I don't like how y'all doing Young Miami, Ooh. bro. Young Miami is repping for her guy, man. And actually, on my birthday, I want to see a few people with some Go Shala signs, yo. Just like that. That's a great idea. I want to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want some of that love that Young Miami uh, showed the, uh, Mr. Sean Combs, yo. She was in the, the movie that I did with Eddie Murphy. Young Miami? Yes the fuck out of here she was in it you sure yes carisha uh, well i don't i would never say that name to her just uh <laughs> randomly what role does she play uh uh i think she plays herself maybe really well i don't know lala's in it too yeah so her and a young man but um i mean she just has a retarded ass super fat juicy <laughs> 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 out of everything we said on the podcast today, that is the most offensive thing. I don't know why that. I don't know why that came off so that is, wild. That shit is crazy, dude. That shit is crazy. Then he licked his lips too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you that ain't married, shit was bro. So Stop crazy. You know? I'm Italian, bro. I'm not. I'm Italian, dude. I'm <laughs> Italian, bro. Like, you gotta treat me as as the person I am, which is an Italian man. Do you know what I mean? And when she came through with the super fat dump dump, you know what I mean? <laughs> Turd cutter just swaying in the wind. I was looking at it and, and I was like, God damn, that shit could gobble up some toilet you want paper. City boy with it? Say what? Did you want a city boy with it? City boy with it. Hey, city boy with it. Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. No, but that's what I said when I saw it too. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> now, yeah. does stuff like that make you believe in God? Oh, absolutely. 100%, man. What? What? One time for the culture. Say what? Hey, Young Miami, hey, hey, you hey, hater. No, get on the mic. I bet you won't get on the mic and say that. You scared of JT. You scared of Young Miami. I bet you won't get on the mic. Why would I be scared of Young Miami? What did you just say? It's a BBL. You don't know That's that. a lie. I don't believe yes, I... that. That's that yes, 305. He's... That ain't no um, BBL. That's that MIA. No. Um, That's what that is. Let's be very clear. No. No, no, no. No, no. Young Miami ain't got no BBL. No. That's no. empanadas. That's that That's MIA. Empanadas. That's that oh, 305. Yep. That's empanadas. that finger licking. You Arroz hear me? Con pollo. That's yams. Mm -hmm. All right. Soul food. Miami. Uh -huh. That's the fucking problem I have with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Because... Y'all want to say y'all like natural women and everything else like that, but look at y'all falling over someone that's Young Miami that. is natural. I never said I like natural women. How Who said that? Natural? Don't put those words in my How mouth. How is she not? Don't put that word in my I'm mouth. I'm not saying she didn't upgrade. have a nice body before the BBL. You can upgrade. But let's be very clear it's upgrade. a BBL. I never thought Young Miami had a BBL You're ever. You're so I'm not lying. No. He's not lying. And I don't believe you. We don't know You're about these things. You're trying to make things. her GMO. You try to make her GMO and she's organic. You should be ashamed she's of yourself, nine. Taylor. Yeah. She's nine. You should be ashamed of yourself, nine. Young Miami. But she's nine. Yo, Young because Miami. Fuck with you, hater, bro. Fuck with her. Her shit was real. Her shit was real. Her name is Taylor fun. Hayes, Young Miami. JT, Yo. you want to put a face to it? Let's go. Okay. You saw what JT Yo, JT said. JT said, don't be one of these women that she can identify and put a face to. Okay. Uh. Not be the same way. All right. Oh, wow. It's on then? And she's from Philly. <laughs> it's on site. She's from the same place. No, it's not a problem. There's nothing against Can you tell like us your problem, though? <laughs> like, please. Like, I just got back from my honeymoon. I, please, can you tell me a problem? Like, I would love that. Like, just another <laughs> problem. Like, yo, we're, talking about, crazy, we're yo. talking about Roe versus Wade. She said three things. We said one girl had a fat ass. She that got a whole... God hey, damn yo, it! Oh, you turned into yo, goddamn please. Martin Luther King Jr. Yo, come on, get over here. Ready to wild out against no, Young no, Miami? No, no this you hating, but you're not Young not, Why is a hater? Because I'm playing us on got BBL. Why she doesn't have a BBL. She does not have that a shit BBL. Is natural. I can smell it. That you shit got, is natural. Yo, you really smell acting it. like Clarence Thomas right now? Yo, yo. you are yo. You acting like Clarence Thomas, yo, bro. That's facts. You acting like Clarence Thomas, yo. Can we, Taylor? I'm being serious. I, I saw that thing. Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I don't I think Young it. Miami got no BBL, yo. No. They have new updates of BBL. You can, they could make the... Yo, now you, try, now you called her an iPhone? <laughs> yo, you're disrespectful, yo. Yo, you are wild. 
You wild, yo. That is kind of crazy to like That's call her that. That's disrespectful, yo. Exactly, man. An update. I'm just saying, but I realized being a natural woman, I realized. How do you know you're natural? There's rumors. No, how do you know you're natural? That's something. You rumors. got all these there's hormones rumors. in your food. There's rumors on Reddit. That yeah. You, there's rumors on Reddit. That's the same way. That you got a BBL. They wish. No, no they, they did say that. There's rumors. There's my rumors. thighs and my ass match. I don't know. Very clear. No. You, you also got a TBL. I got what? You got a thigh butt. With... <laughs> no, bro. What is, they said, what is the letters, They said bro? the reason that you Brazilian lost... butt lift. Oh, yeah. Brazilian thigh. They said the reason you lost to Andrew in that race is because you tried to run too soon after the surgery. That's true. Wow. I've heard that about you. Then I've heard you. <laughs> That's true. See, That's fact. Because you spread, you see how you spread rumors about Young Miami, but people say the same thing I about you. I spread no rumors. You did. Because, because we live in an era where any girl that's thick, people automatically say they got Tell surgery. Em. Tell them. They had no, a you're BBL. Absolutely right. Tell and that's why I'm saying I'm getting mad though at that because come to the natural people, we don't have We don't know that. if you're natural. Don't, don't identify Yo, as natural. So don't identify crazy. as natural. I'm telling you, natural. I'm natural. There's, There's no, no proof, proof you're natural. There's, There's no, proof, no you're proof you're natural. You're impossible meat, all of you. For real. You got cyborg thighs, yo. Yo, for real. For real. Come on. If you spread something, I'm all natural. Stop playing with me. No, you're not. Not one girl in Lower Marion look like you. Word of Exactly. That's why I'm so natural. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. BBL. You might have gotten one. BBL. You might have gotten one, for real. BBL. You might have gotten a BBL, BBL, for real. BBL. We're not on mic for some reason. <laughs> You're not on mic. Can you waddle that BBL over there and talk to the mic? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that, Taylor. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't objectify yourself. Yeah, go, go. It's not hers to objectify. She's <laughs> leasing it. When you gotta give it back? When you got yo? When you gotta give that? I heard you. When you gotta get an media. update? <laughs> <laughs> when you gotta get an update? And do you get a free update? <laughs> do you, are you eligible for a free update? I don't are you know eligible? What you're listen, talking about are you eligible for? Uh, are you eligible for new thighs? Are you eligible for free thighs? What's your update? Huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> okay, can you go explain why why your your body's not yours? Go. My body is mine. Yeah. But it's an issue, honestly, where <laughs> your body is you, not yours, it's the Supreme Court. That's facts. <laughs> Don't. No, for real. <laughs> Damn. Your body Yo. Dr. Miami's Yo. choice. <laughs> what, what, Yo. What, 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 what? Yo. What? I know, I saw it in you. <laughs> what happened? You guys fucked up when you think about it, yo. <laughs> nah, it really is fucked up. What? Well, what if they? What if they're down for the surgeries you want to do? So, no, they probably won't be. Why? You, uh... I don't know. The way things are going, they probably won't be, yo. Or no, because y'all spending your own money. It's not like it's taxpayer dollars. Yeah, that are being used for that type, kind of stuff. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I'm Kid. sorry. I didn't mean it. What one was that? It depressed me too. They said they said on Reddit you have fake feet, even. <laughs> they did say that. That was a rumor going that. around. You have fake feet. They, you got your feet done. Is that true? Yo, That's true. I don't know what yo, this, to tell this, you. This is this is Rudy Giuliani is a What is Roe versus Wade? Is that a one on one basketball game between Shut up, <laughs> This guy's so stupid. <laughs> Shut up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me retry that joke and make it even longer now, right? Hey, guys, what is Roe versus Wade with really? Is it? <laughs> Did you see Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. Did you see him say that he got assaulted at a supermarket, bro? Bro, this is all the mob had to do to him, bro. Think about that. <laughs> this is all the mob had to do to him, bro. It's just pat him on the fucking back. He would have ran scared. <laughs> Took out the whole mob. All they had to do was Yo, pat him. Rudy needs love. Yeah. You bro. know how you know that man needs love? This man thought a pat on the back was an assault. Yeah, let me That look means at he's it. never he never got any type of validation ever. Look at and then it was two. This is the thing. One guy pats him and then the woman rubs him. And he thinks it's an assault. Why? Yeah. Look, Pat, rub down. I'm going to be Why honest with you. Why did that woman rub it down so Because they planted something on him, bro. That's what that was. Rudy, you thinking about this all wrong. You got something planted on you. That dude hit you on the back to put it there. And mm. then she rubbed you on the back to make sure it stayed there. Whatever it was. Mm. Okay? Something happened to Rudy in the next couple of weeks. What do you think it is? That right there. They planted something on Rudy G. Like a bro. disease of sorts? I don't know, but this is very odd. You don't think this? This is like a fucking pick and roll. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally, watch the guy pats and then watch the woman. And comes then she right rubs in it in immediately. Oh, she's in on it. You're saying either that or that was a really hard slap. I think I think he slapped the shit out of him, man. Uh, it, Imagine it, someone slap your wife like that. Oh, we fight. We fight you. So it's assault. Boom. Imagine someone walks up behind your wife, slaps her. You know what? I'm going to tell you what's interesting about this. I'm, I, we're looking at this video and we're saying, oh, that ain't shit. Why did everybody react that way? That shit must have been loud or something. Right? That's the thing. Like, <laughs> like I think they doctored the footage. I think they slowed it down a little bit right when he slaps. <laughs> like, look how everybody so looks. Like, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah. Like, this isn't normal. Like, pow. And then she rubs it. Everybody's like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Yo, look, look, look at look at the other people and see if they slow it down right when he slaps. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you think that was a real assault? I that think that's assault? I think it's an assault. If wow. if three of those dudes were in your backyard, three what? <laughs> them back slappers? Three Rudy Giuliani? Three well, oh, three Rudy Giuliani's. That's a different situation. But three back slappers. I don't know, bro. I'm just saying this is. Yo, don't run up on me and just slap me in my back while I'm talking to my yeah, there's fellow boosters. There's boundaries. That's why, you know, everybody got mad at Michael Jordan because they were like, yo, Michael Jordan didn't want to take the picture with the kids, man. I'm just like, yo, everybody got boundaries. Mm. You know what I mean? Do I think this is assault? No, but now that I'm looking at the footage a little bit more and I'm watching everybody's reaction, I'm like, eh? But don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. If you don't, that's right. If you don't touch me, then we won't even have these problems. You know. Also, were they cool or was he talking shit afterwards? Because if oh, he you got arrested, dude got arrested. All right, so then he didn't like him. It's one thing if you walked up to somebody, pat them on the side and be like, I love you, bro. Keep up the great work. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. But if you tap them and they go, fuck you, get out of my grocery store. Okay, now we're going to have problems. Yeah, I don't know what he said to him. But clearly, uh, even even Rudy's reaction, that shit must have hurt a little bit, bro. Yeah, maybe. I had cannot believe I'm sitting in here siding with Rudy Giuliani. I'm not siding. I'm just looking at the evidence and I'm like, you know what? This shit do look kind of sketchy. What happened? What did he say? So I get out, I walk to the men's room, I come out of the men's room, a group of people are around me, hugging me, kissing me, telling me Andrew's great. And all of a sudden, I feel a shot on my back. Somebody shot him? Like somebody shot me. Oh, God. I, I went forward, but off. luckily I didn't fall down. Lucky I'm a 78-year-old in pretty good shape. Because if I wasn't, I'd have hit the ground and probably cracked my skull. And then I look around and the guy says words I can't repeat. You effing whatever. And then he goes on and on and on, yelling and screaming. He moves away, yelling and screaming uh, things like, you're going to kill babies. Your people are going to kill babies. Uh, not babies. I don't you're going to kill women. Let's do some asking women. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know what's going on in the world. Leave people to fuck alone. Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, don't you know touch people. He's if soft. Michael, if Michael Jordan don't want to take pictures with you, he don't want to take pictures with you. bro. What's Michael Jordan's big thing about the pictures? I don't know. I just know all these people are old. I can join 60 something years old. Mm -hmm. At some point, you don't want to be fucking bothered. I don't have a problem with Michael Jordan not wanting to take pictures. And I hear people say things like, oh, well, we buy his shoes and we support him. God bless. You chose to do that. <laughs> you don't do it for him. <laughs> exactly. I, that, I don't like that. Argument, he created right? a product and y'all go out and consume it. He yeah. owes you nothing after that. Yeah. I, probably, I I know you might want to think otherwise, but he owes you absolutely positively nothing after that. Yeah. I mean, you're, it'd be nice to take pictures. You're, you got a pair of Jordans on. <laughs> Do you think Michael Jordan owes you a picture? No. No one owes you, but it's nice, you know, it's nice to... We all would want a picture of Michael Jordan. I, we grew up watching that goat, that legend. Yeah. But I also, if somebody tells me they don't want a picture, I don't take offense. I I met Prince. God bless the dead. First thing I said to Prince was, I grew up Jehovah Witness too, because I couldn't think of nothing else to say. Oh, that's a great thing. that What'd he say? And then I asked for a picture. What'd he say? He was like, no, he doesn't want to take pictures right now. Me being the person I am at the time, not respecting boundaries, Ooh. decided to take a picture of Prince when he was floating off. <laughs> that man floated away. That man had on a purple cape. I... I and man floated away. I took the picture of Prince from the back. So I got Prince from the back. Nice coughed hair, purple cape, yeah. off the ground. You can see him floating. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, we're looking at the picture. Me, Envy, Angela Yee. I think our producer Q at the time. Sasha might have been there. I'm not sure. I'm showing them the picture. I'm like, yo, look at this. Yo, this guy is floating. Several seconds later, where that picture was in my phone, just a black space. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so, I can't with this shit. So. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> no, I believe I believe you, bro. So, and what happened? Did you post it for like black rights? Like just. <laughs> yo, Prince invented the black box. Man. Yo, he did, bro. Yo, Prince invented the black square. He did. By the way, I saw Prince disappear two times. Um, when I went to Saturday Night Live one night, it was the night Chris Rock hosted, mm-hmm. and Prince performed. And you know, on TV, when you're watching Saturday Night Live, when the performance is over, it goes to commercial. Yeah. When you're there, when the performance is over, you can see the artist leave the stage. Prince finished. The lights went dark, but it's still like lights on the stage. He jumps off the stage and vanishes. I'm talking about like, <laughs> come on, like, bro, I'm not even joking. I'm talking <laughs> like, on, this. I'm Yo, talking Charlotte, like, stop. This. Yeah. This is how I look. I'm Prince right now, right? Performing, performance over. He does like this. <laughs> but there's nothing in front of him. It was just space. So this guy vanishes in the thin motherfucking air, bro. Okay. The guy in front of me kind of looks around and I look at my wife I'm like, yo, did you see him just vanish? And then the guy looks at me he goes, you said vanish, right? And I said, yeah, you saw him just vanish? And he goes, yo, I saw him too, bro. This is Saturday Night Live. It's literally like if I could jump right there in the middle of that floor and disappear. That's what Prince did. What is called? Taylor said, Shaw, Taylor said Prince. Prince might be a magician. I, I I don't even know what to say right now. Can we do some asking? Idiots? <laughs> yeah, please, please, can we do some asking idiots? I feel like I'm being judged. <laughs> Yo, you said you had an announcement. Yeah, I'll announce that shit next week. <laughs> <laughs> you said you had. No, you don't. Oh, next week. Next week, I'll announce right. it next week. Let's do some asking idiots. <laughs> Oh, hold on. We got to talk about that real quick. Though. All right, go, go, Let's go. Let's put go. a button on the Roe versus Roe v. Wade thing. CVS, Rite Aid, and Walmart will soon limit the number of the emergency contraceptives that people can buy on its website and in its stores after last week's Supreme Court ruling. I don't know what... What's an emergency contraceptive? Yeah, I thought it was just plan B. I don't know what emergency contraceptive is. I think that is the same. One and the same. So no. women... I, I think I read women can only get like four or six, four to six. Yeah, I think three. Now. Three? Per what? I mean, they're just... At a time? Them. Yeah, yeah. How many you fucking need, That's yo? That's saying, bro. They're like stockpiling on them in case. Which is smart. Oh, they do it like they did with uh, Lean. Well, when you Remember, buy... Like, you gotta show your ID. Yeah, yeah. when you buy yeah. Plan B, you gotta show ID. And I think you gotta sign something, too. Well, oh, Taylor, do tell. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've purchased some before. I am I not ashamed to say I took Plan B before. Hey, and you don't have to, you, you didn't have to sign something? No. You had to show your ID, though. Maybe you didn't get Plan um, B. No. Oh, no. Nah, you got that bootleg shit in Philly. No, I didn't. You, you go to CVS, <laughs> and I was... Wow, I'm about to show my age. Um, I was 16. Whoa. And mind you, I... Took it because I was just mad fear of my parents. If I was to get back, I used the condom. Just still scared. Oh, so, really? Yeah, I was like petrified. Did your dad you thought I was going to go, what? Why would he know the story? Does your mom know this story? Why would she know the story? She knows now. Continue. They don't listen to the show. They will this episode. <laughs> yeah. Send them this. So I was going to know. Is this before or after the BBL? Shut the fuck up because <laughs> you know BBL. BBL. Anyways. Definitely before the You don't BBL. have to sign it and I don't remember them checking my ID. Hmm. To Andrew's point, though, how many Plan Bs do you need, though? Yeah. I mean, goddamn. Depends she's having a whole summer. What? Whole summer is canceled. Yo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Whole summer is canceled. All right. And what a bummer, too, because this is the first summer that people are actually going to be able to go party. Yeah, people outside. Like, people are going to have so much unprotected sex. And... Shut down by motherfuckers who ain't outside. Clarence yeah. Thomas ain't outside. Yeah. Amy Coney Barrett ain't outside. Did she say no to it too? What did the women? How did the women vote? Yeah, Amy voted for Amy voted uh the the uh reverse it and then who? Amy voted to reverse it. Brett Kavanaugh voted to reverse it. Clarence Thomas, uh Samuel Altaito or whatever the fuck his name is, and it was another one I can't remember his name. But just the the women on the there's only t- Amy Coney Barrett voted. There's three, ain't there? Three voted uh the uphold it, of course, but Amy Coney Barrett voted. So the other two women it. voted to uphold it. There's three women on the Supreme Court? Eh, isn't there? There's the Sotomayor or some shit? Because Katanji Brown-Jackson not on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But God bless, man. I I just know whole summer is canceled and y'all just gonna have to like be responsible. I guess that's what Kamala Harris was trying to say on her interview with Dana Bash when she was like, think about your sons. That's the only thing I could think of. I was just like, because it felt kind of weird to like bring it to the sons at a time like this when this is an issue that's affecting women. But it's just like, yo, you got to, I guess you're going to have to be more responsible. Yo, you can't just be out here shooting clubs up. You're going to have to wear condoms. You're going to have to figure it out. You can't be out here just sleeping with random people. You know what mm. I mean? So God bless, man. So, Elena Kagan. Elena. She's a third. It is three. Yeah. She didn't vote for it. She, she didn't vote to overturn it. Yeah, she didn't vote over. So who's two, the five judges that voted over turning? Brett Kavanaugh, Clarence Thomas. Did, wasn't it six three or am Amy I Coney Barrett, Roberts? Who? Uh, John G. Roberts. John G. Roberts and Samuel J. Alito or whatever, right? Yeah. All right, let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Salute to Ray J. Ray J. The goat. Ray J. Coming on, brilliant idiot. Let's go when. Um, next time here in New York. Oh, that is. That's right. my guy. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. You see clips from the verses? No. Oh, you got to see. I just saw the cup and rules thing. I thought it was amazing. No, no, no. no. Ray J's a goat. I'll show you. I'll show you later. It's so good. Wait a minute. Is this with the baby thing? Yeah, yeah. When he's holding the baby and singing on stage, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ray J hard. Ray J, I, I think that's a very appropriate record, especially after the Roe v. Wade decision. No, not one wish. He kept saying, my baby's born and tell the baby's born and tell the baby's born. You didn't hear that? Let's do the Ask an Idiot. Um, shit. Cloud Hopper said, is the gap between the has and have nots bigger than ever? No. Yeah. You think? Feels like it. <sighs> At this moment in time, it absolutely positively feels like it. I mean, we knew that the, the 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 wage gap, I mean, the wealth gap, you know, there, there's, it's a big ass gap, but it don't feel like people, it don't feel like anybody's getting any closer to closing it. I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay, this is what I'm thinking. The gap is still the same distance, right? It's just our money is worth less now because of inflation. Mm. So now, like this is the amount of money you need before, like six months ago, this is the amount of money you need to make to survive. And this is how much money you make, right? And then billionaires are up here, right? Then all of a sudden with inflation, the value of the money that you make went down like this. Yeah. So the amount of money you need to make to survive is up here. You're below it. So it feels like you're hurting, but these billionaires also lost that percentage of their wealth at the same time. You know, uh, I mean, the stock market is taking a fucking hit right now. Like, you could make the argument that the really rich people are probably worth less now because they're so invested into like the stock market, but because they have so much more, that little dent doesn't hurt them. It's like when a billionaire gets a fucking traffic ticket, it's like, yeah, I don't care about this. Where a regular person gets a traffic ticket, they're like, fuck, that fuck that my week could, up. Yeah, that's not the week. That shit could fuck your month up. Yeah. You know, if you are somebody who, because of inflation, you know, money is tighter. Exactly. That one little ticket could fuck you up. Now you can't pay this bill. If you were living week to week and now your money's worth 10% less, yeah. you're underneath the amount you need. Like it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's terrifying. So is the answer yes? <laughs> no, I, I don't think the discrepancy is different. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying. But this is, now we're just getting into math. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I don't know. It's weird, man. I was watching my, my wife, my wife's watching this fucking like uh, Housewives of Dubai or some kind of show, right? And um, I think people, if you make money and you work hard and you should be able to spend it on whatever the fuck you want, that's great. But in Dubai, it's like a status symbol to have a license plate that has less letters. So if you have a license plate that's just D5, you, that goes for like $30 million just to have yeah. that license plate because it's a super flex. That's when it's like a little bit much, right? It's like that license plate doesn't serve you in any way you know if you if you like a, a piece of clothing you like a fucking like watch like yes it's a status symbol that people can appreciate but maybe you're really into that piece of clothing maybe you're really into a car maybe a license plate 33 million dollars you could have donated that to people who are fucking Hold on, starving the license plate costs 33 million the fuck so it's like that's the type of thing where you look at it and I understand like the resentment of maybe like the uber wealthy from some people because it's like but we're looking at it from our perspective too though to yeah, them, that's nothing. You know what I mean? Like somebody might look at your watch and be like, "Oh, that watch cost 
whatever amount of money, that's a waste of fucking money. You know? and, and I agree with them in that regard, right? Because they can't decide what that means to me. I guess what I'm saying is like, if I was like an aficionado about this thing and it really meant something to me, then, okay, that's cool. I don't think anybody's a license plate aficionado. Yeah. I think that's strictly a status symbol. It's just it, like- Over there. Over there. And I'm like, that's so dumb. Like, I don't Us, know. I get what you're saying. Yo, spend $33 million on a pool in your backyard because you fucking love swimming. Like that to me is fine. You're getting something out of it. I don't care. But doing that just so strangers can be like, that guy has money. That shit seems. Yeah, man. When Maybe I, I'm a hypocrite because I have, you know, useless material goods too. I guess if for me, it just all, seems so extreme. I'm yeah. Like, all of our status symbols are different. Shit, Jordan's a status symbol. 100%. Here, you know what I mean? But if it makes you really happy. You know, and I guess maybe the license plate makes you really fucking happy. Like, yeah. I don't know. How does the like, like a sneaker, I can understand it making you happy. Yeah, you, I think some people, even just the flexing makes them happy. So, yeah, I guess. But then it's totally dependent on like what other people think. Yeah. That's social media. <laughs> but isn't that corny a little bit? Dude? Yeah, like, yeah we all got all, of it. we all have that in us all, yeah. right? There's no question. But it's a little bit corny when like the only satisfaction you get is by other people. Mm. saying, oh, wow, that person is really rich. Mm. Not like other people think, oh, that person is artistic or that person is talented or that person has a thing. Or like, even if you have this crazy house, if it's designed beautifully or like you put like cool furniture and these types of things in it, like that's cool. Like it's, I'm sure like when your wife shows off your home to her, to like friends, it's like a sense of like joy for her because she put yeah. this thing together, right? I think anything tangible is cool. The corny thing, the things I think are corny is like if, 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 if the flex for you is like access. You know what I mean? Meaning, meaning like just because you can get into a certain club or because you have proximity to certain people. Like you see those type of people on social media all the time. Uh, people that, what they'll, is that? they'll, they'll go to NBC and take a picture in front of the yeah. NBC logo or the Netflix logo. Or you, you meet somebody and yeah. you take a picture. Like I think when you flex access, it's super, super corny. Because what is that? Yeah. You know what I mean? At least this stuff, at least the license plate or the, the painting, whatever, that's something tangible no, you can look at and so see. corny. Because... The license plate is that access thing that you're talking yeah. about. But at least, the, but the thing isn't even that cool. That's why, I mean, shit gonna change. I mean, uh, as crazy as it sounds, access to an abortion. If things keep going the way they are, that's Ooh. gonna be a flex. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be one of those things. People are like, where did you get that from? Like, girls are gonna take pictures in front of the clinic like they do when their people are at Netflix for, like, meetings? They, they might. Go? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you why they might. Because it's gonna be an act of rebellion. You know what I mean? Mm. Especially if they said, if they, they was talking about setting up those, uh, uh, I can't even remember what they call them now, but setting up those like places like at the edge of like certain land, like uh, a federal land thing. You uh, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were gonna put clinics on federal land because yeah. the only law that applies there is federal law, and if it's federally legal Boom. to still do, then you could do it. You think that they're not gonna take pictures in front of that? Absolutely, absolutely. They're gonna take pictures from it because it's gonna be an act of rebellion. It's gonna be an act of fuck y'all. America, you know what I mean? Or thank you, <sighs> Joe Biden or whoever did it. You know what I mean? That's absolutely about to happen. Uh, let's do this last one and get the fuck out of here. Uh, this is from AMJDKDR. What is America's kryptonite? Oh, greed. We'll, we are willing to sell our fucking souls for money. Like most American corporations are, hmm. are willing to sell their fucking soul for money. And if that money comes from other countries, that money comes from here, no matter where the money comes from, they will do anything. They will monetize anything. There's no limit. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. If they can be sold, they'll do it. We'll sell our most priceless buildings. We'll sell, it's not just us. It's like, you know, most countries that are, wow. uh, that, that's just the limit to capitalism, really. It's like, if it's to the highest bidder and you have countries out there that can bid something really high or you have independently wealthy people out there that can bid something really high, then people are going to sell it. And then you lose control of maybe some of your most valuable assets. And that's kind of a shame a little bit. Like, don't you want America to own America's shit? Like, yeah. like what if you found out the White House was really owned by, like... Black people? Well, that'd be kind of cool if they're American black people. We built it. Did you build it? I don't... I, I mean... I don't, that's not true. I don't know if that's... I mean, I, yeah, I'm far, yeah, we built the White House. Did you? I, I didn't know that. Yeah, slaves built the White House. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... You want to know something interesting? I learned uh, when I was out there in Italy. Uh, Greek buildings and statues and Roman buildings and statues were painted. So these like white limestone buildings that we have replicated. I saw and, you post that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like yeah. so many countries in Europe have replicated. Like the White House is a replica of something that never existed like that. Life yeah. was colorful back then. They would like paint in all these colors. So yeah. it just so happens that it kind of looks really cool. 
right? Like the way you see sculptures now, you're like, oh, it's cool that they had a design perfectly like that. But it was quite colorful. But how funny is that? Like in our efforts to like impress the world by having this ancient looking building, we really just, it's complete cap. It's like, we just proved we don't even wow. know what the fuck was going on. I like what you said. We man. called it the White House. We definitely called it. The White House. <laughs> shit wasn't even white. Maybe there was no more colors. Yeah. Um, I like what you said because in my mind, America's kryptonite is white supremacy, but white supremacy is rooted in greed. It's uh, it, it's rooted in greed. greed is above everything. Yeah, it, it just is. happens white people had the power, right? But if anybody who has access to power usually is corrupted by greed, regardless what color they are. Yeah. So it's like to your point about they monetize everything. They they were monetizing people. Hell you yeah. Know what I mean, and it 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 yeah. And it's disgusting. It's and you don't true. care. And you just go, okay, well, this gets me the thing I want. And I don't have to care about those people and how they feel because I get the thing that I want. And that's where it gets a little bit gross. Like you want to, you hope that when you're in that situation and you want to help people or empower people and, but who knows, maybe, maybe we get in that situation. We don't do it. And we just keep on thinking of more things that we want to buy and more things we want to consume. And then we're complete fucking hypocrites. I don't know. I'm not in their shoes. So I don't know what I the fuck you're saying. We tend to become what we hate. I mean, it's interesting because even if you got rid of like, let's just say you got rid of white supremacy. Let's say you got rid of all prejudices, everything. Yeah. White supremacy, homophobia, Miss Marvel phobia, sure. like, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, all of them. There'd still be class issues as long as they're money. There's still people who would want more because that would be the flex, right? Being as rich as possible would be the power. In order to be as rich as possible, somebody has to be oppressed in yeah. some way, shape, or form. Somebody has to be marginalized in some way, shape, or form. So it wouldn't be necessarily the white dynamic oppressing everybody. It would be just who has the most oppressing people. 100%. I think... Mm. And I'm sure a lot, you know, this has been said a lot and I, and I don't want it to like discredit, you know, racism or the history of like, racial struggle in America. But a lot of, I think, our racist issues are class issues that are that are manifested as race. When yeah. you have legislation that is racist put into communities, you start to develop these extreme class uh, discrepancies and those class discrepancies manifest themselves in people having like racist feelings about certain groups that are not fair because they weren't given the same opportunities as other groups to increase economically. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like this, this racist thing that was started from a greed thing. You know what I mean? Like greed creates the racist thing. Like initially everybody's fucking slaves, right? And you're in Europe. It's like, they'll put anybody, they don't slave anybody. Like I was in fucking, there was a black emperor of Rome. I didn't even know that back in the day. So the way that they paint the Roman Empire was like, yo, if you're part of it, you can run it as long as you get with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's fucking tons of racism, yeah, but yeah, yeah. You know, it stretches throughout the whole world, whatever. But it's just interesting to see how like a greed complex can create a racism complex that then creates legislation that reinforces yeah. all those feelings. It's like, out of, yeah. It's all about that power dynamic, right? Like, you can create a caste system anywhere. Like, you know, you... In India, they stories did, about yeah. Europeans who went and oppressed the Irish. You know what I mean? They were all white-skinned. Scottish, you too. You know what I mean? Yeah. We live in... Uh, dude, there's a history of fucking oppression. There's a history of... Dude, there's a history of... Uh, of uh, What is it called? Uh, when you take people's culture... What is it called? Social appropriation? Yeah. Like, the Romans just did what the Greeks did. And the French just did what the Romans did. Like, everybody was stealing each other's shit. And, yeah. like, bro, I mean, it was... Yeah. The more you learn about, like, humanity, the more you see the behavior repeated. And we live in this really interesting time where, like, life is good enough for most people where we can reflect on, like, how you treat one another. This is the first time this has kind of really happened, right? Back in the day, like, you look at these periods in time, you're like, oh, everybody was balling during the Renaissance. It's like, no, they weren't. 1% of people were balling and the rest of the people were living in fucking squalor and it was really tough. Yeah. We just didn't write any books about those people. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool time where we can at least go, hey, that's not fair how you're treating that person. How can we make that more fair? And we're not perfect at it by any means. But the fact that we live in a moment where we can at least acknowledge it and like try to do something about it and like call out people in power, that's, right. that's kind of, I don't know, trending right. 
We'll see what happens, man. Uh, America, personally, I think we're fucked, but we're going to have fun while we're here. I believe in America. I don't. I, I just, you know what it is? I don't believe in people. I believe in the idea of America. Yes. I don't believe in people. The idea of America is fantastic. Freedom, justice, liberty, equality for all. But people will fuck up anything. You people can't. will fuck up the most perfect things. God. They fuck up God. How do you fuck up God, bro? That's what people do. We fuck things up. And it's we got to find systems that work with our imperfections. And we will make those things imperfect. Do, do, do you think, before we get out of here, do you think that that's the problem? You know how they're having these conversations about, like, people on the Supreme Court need to have term limits, or you need to be too old. Do you think every such amount of years we need to update our system? Don't you think we might be just living in an outdated system? I mean, people go back and forth on this, and we should probably have one of these, like, super smart lawyers that, like, understands constitutional law, but, like... Dr. Umar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need Dr. Umar. I would love to have Dr. Umar. But, like, I don't know, maybe... Yeah, all of them. Religion. I think you're government. Yeah, I think you're supposed to like reflect the time that you're living in. And I think the fear for some people is like, well, times change and people are capable of horrendous things. Like you look back into like fucking paganism, like before Catholicism is spread throughout like uh, Rome in the world, even during the Catholic period. But like it was fucked up, bro. They're like fucking little kids and shit like that. Like, they do, there's no rules whatsoever. People just indulge in whatever they want to do. Like, you go to, you know, like uh, Mount Vesuvius, like Pompeii, you know, that big fucking volcano. Like, apparently, like, they, the volcano erupts and, like, it keeps intact what the town was like. And, like, you, there was a brothel that had pictures of what you could do with, like, these heinous sex acts. So a menu. A menu, bro, because people couldn't speak the language. They might be just like fishermen that just showed up. Yeah, it'd be like that Jamaican restaurant. No side of me. That's it, man. Yeah. That's it. Wow. So it's like there's part of me that looks at that and then I see how corrupt and fucked up and foul humans can get and what we're capable of. And I'm like, maybe we do need a, we, we need some sort of like rule that just checks ourselves from devolving into complete debauchery. Well, I'm sure that's why those systems were created because I guarantee you if they had a menu for this little shit that was going on, but it was legal up. back then. Yeah, and, but, and that's the problem is that, like, I don't know, you always hear about what happens to these, these rich people parties, right? And it's just like crazy drugs and all this fucked up fuck fest, this, that, the other and stuff like that. And it's like, well, what if only those people had all the power completely unchecked? Yeah. Would they start making that okay for them and their friends to do everywhere? And nobody could tell them not to do that. That's what it feels like is happening. And that, all the that's people why, are subjugated. Like, now nah, that's what feels like is happening because when you put certain people in positions of power, in regards to them creating legislation, they'll do stuff like this because it you benefits I mean? them. Absolutely. Wow. I don't know. That's where you see like the you call them the quote unquote religious nut jobs, but maybe in their mind, they're going, "Do you know what this thing can turn into? Do you know what fucking human beings are capable yeah. of without a backbone?" And I, maybe that is what very religious yeah. people feel like. They, That's why religion is dangerous, man, because no written word should be like the end all be all forever. Like and forever. Like the Bible's forever. The Bible's homophobic. It's misogynistic. Yes. It's sexist. Like, yes. But at the same time, you know how fucked up. Like, I, I think that there's like a joke about this problem. But, you know, how everybody talks about like the Catholic priests are like fucking all the boys and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, everybody was fucking boys before them. Like, the amount of boy fucking has went down so much. So, like, maybe that's, they they get that. I don't know what just happened. I think I, <laughs> I, I I'm not even, I was, I was with him. Yeah, he had me, yeah. he had me, and then I was just like, I don't know what the fuck just happened. No, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, they, they, uh, some like rule of law came around that said, hey, you guys are doing too much crazy shit. Yeah, it needs yeah. to cut the fuck chill the fuck out. Yeah. Now we're going to be overly strict. And people are like, God damn, this was so strict. But then the opposite side of the pendulum is way too crazy. Yeah, so yeah, how do we yeah, maintain yeah. this middle ground? And every culture has their version of it, their version of this like uh, representative yeah. democracy or whatever it is where people go, hey, these are the rules. And we try to uphold the Constitution, but shit changes and it gets better and it gets more equitable. And then the fear is that it gets too open and too free. And then people start getting subjugated to treatment that they should not be. Yeah, I wonder if you even know subject. right or wrong if there are no rules. 
what if we're making everything up, bro? What if, you know what I'm saying? Like what? Like what if what if certain things are only bad because we say it's bad, and because we've been hurt hearing it's so bad for so long, when you do it, you like ah, oh, I feel guilty. I feel ashamed. Like you know what I mean, bro? They're yeah. I'm just saying, like we think it's fucked up to have more than one wife. There are com- there are countries and there are Whoa. cultures where it's completely Whoa. tolerable to have that. Whoa! But here it is illegal. Whoa! As it should be. Okay. I'm just saying, right? Like, we're all subscribing to some rules. And then we think that those rules are, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, ordained by God. Is that yeah, it? Ordained uh, by God. Or, yeah, ordained yeah, by yeah, God. Yeah. But, like, they're different gods. they got different rules. All right, y'all. Um, I think we did it. I don't know what we did. Hey, man. But that's, hopefully you guys are thinking about that, these things. That's it's all That's all the real this is about, okay? Smart. People talking dumb shit are dumb people talking, talking smart, smart shit. Yes. Okay? yes. It's up to you to decipher. Yes. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>